Hello guys, this is Albany Aviation, and this is another airport update of Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. So, I'm sorry I have not been active on airport updates for a while, because um, cause I have been waiting on quite a few models for this airport, and I have just been waiting for a lot of stuff for this airport. But before I start, um, here are just a few special mentions. So, um... Aviation, here is Aviation J Triple X HD. Please say hello. Hello, everyone. Hey, Jay. And then we have Gemini Jets 1975. Please say hello. Okay, we have uh, Takeoff Aviation. Please say hello. So, um, so yeah, um, we'll try Gemini Jets 1975 again. Please say hello. Hello, everyone. Okay, there we go. So, um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to mute them, and we'll get straight onto the airport update. So, <clears throat> this indeed took me a while to make, so I hope you like it. First here we have a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-300 in the Arizona 1 and it is just arriving in from Burbank. And next we have a United Airlines Airbus A319 which is going to be taking off in just a few seconds for San Francisco. And then we have a Delta Airlines Airbus A321 which is about to line up for departure and it will be heading out to Salt Lake City. And right here we have a an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900 in the spirit of the island's livery and it is taxiing for departure and it will be heading out to Portland. And here we have a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8 and it is taxiing for departure and this one will be heading out to Houston Hobby. And here we have an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900 and it's this one, you guessed it, is taxiing for departure and it will be heading out to Portland. Over there is the American Airlines, one second, let's get a closer look of it. That's better. American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the classic retro livery. And, um, or no, in the heritage livery. And it just landed in from Dallas. And then over there is the FedEx Boeing 767-300. F and it just departed for Memphis. Allegiant Airlines Airbus A320 and it just landed in from Laredo. Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900 and it is taxiing for departure and it'll be heading out to Seattle. Virgin Atlantic Boeing 747 Dash 400 and passengers are boarding for London Gatwick. Thomas Cook Airbus A330 dash 200 and it will be pushing back soon for Manchester. Aero Mexico Boeing 737 dash 800 and it will be pushing back soon as well for. Mexico City. WestJet Boeing 737-800 and it recently arrived in from Vancouver. JetBlue Airbus A320 in the honoring our vets livery and uh, it recently pulled into the gate from JFK or New York JFK. JetBlue Airbus A320 and it'll be pushing back soon for Boston. 
and Alaska Airlines Airbus A320 and uh, it is getting catering service right now and it'll be flying over to Los Angeles very soon uh, Alaska Airlines Airbus A321neo um, just hasn't been painted yet it's the Alaska Airlines livery from the Virgin America livery but soon in about 20 minutes it'll be pushing back and departing for San Francisco. Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900 more to love livery and it's gonna be departing soon in about five minutes for Seattle Tacoma and here we have a uh, Sun Country Boeing 737-800 and it landed in its taxiing back. It's it landed in and it is taxiing back to the gate from Minneapolis. American Airlines Airbus A320 and it's about to push back soon for Phoenix. American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Reno Air Retro livery and it pulled into the gate about. 25 minutes ago from Washington Reagan American Airlines Boeing 767 300 and it also arrived about five minutes ago from Miami American Airlines Boeing 737 800 in the one world livery and it is about and just pulling into the gate right now it's gonna take the turn and momentarily and it arrived in from Chicago and American Airlines Airbus A321 and it's gonna be pushing back soon for Philadelphia Delta Airlines Boeing 757-200 and it also recently arrived about about 20 minutes ago from Atlanta Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900 and it will be pushing back soon for JFK or New York JFK. Hawaiian Airlines Airbus A330-200 and it arrived recently from Honolulu. Delta Airlines Boeing 717-200 and it's going to be pushing back in about 10 minutes for Seattle. And Delta Airlines Embraer 170. And it's going to be pushing back soon as well for Orange County. United Airlines Airbus A320 in the Friendship A320 livery. And it'll be heading out to Newark in about 12 minutes. United Airlines, Boeing 737-900 in the Eco Skies livery, and it recently arrived from Los Angeles. United Airlines, Boeing 757-200, and it arrived about a half hour ago from uh, Newark, and it'll be heading out to Chicago, but... The flight is delayed about 10 minutes and United Airlines Boeing 737-900 in the Continental Retro livery and it's going to be pushing back in about 5 minutes for Denver. Air Canada Rouge Boeing 767-300 and it'll be pushing back in about 25 minutes for Montreal Trudeau International Airport. Frontier Airlines Airbus A320 in the Grizzly Bear livery. And it arrived in from Madison a few minutes ago. And Frontier Airbus A320neo and 
baggage is being loaded on right now and in about a half hour it'll be departing out to Austin Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 and passengers are boarding on for Sacramento Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 and uh, it'll be pushing back soon for Orlando the reflection of the camera or no the shadow of the camera Southwest Boeing 737 MAX 8 and it just pushed back and it'll be taxiing any second now for St. Louis Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 and uh, passengers are boarding off right now from uh, Hartford from Hartford Bradley Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 over there and it'll be pushing back soon for Chicago Midway Ugh. Ouch. Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the uh, Nevada one and passengers are boarding off from Dallas Lovefield. Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 and it'll soon push back for Omaha. Southwest Boeing 7373, I mean 737800, and it's going to be pushing back soon as well for Atlanta. Southwest Boeing 737700, and it arrived about 15 minutes ago from Salt Lake City. Uh, Southwest Airlines 737-300 in the Shamu livery, and I know it's retired by the way. It'll be heading out to Albuquerque very soon. Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Triple Crown livery, and it'll be heading out to New Orleans Southwest Airlines, Boeing 737-300, and it's going to be heading out to Oklahoma soon. Spirit Airlines, Airbus A319, and it'll be departing out to Philadelphia in about a few minutes. Spirit Airlines, Airbus A319, and it will be, in, or sorry, it just recently arrived in from, from Fort Lauderdale, and Allegiant Airlines, Airbus A319, and It'll be heading out for Punta Gorda in a little while. And another Allegiant Airbus A319. And it'll be heading out for for Phoenix Mesa Airport. And a final Allegiant Airlines Airbus, I mean Allegiant Airlines um, MD-83. And this one will be setting off on a flight to Bellingham. And as you all probably know, Allegiant Airlines is retiring their MD-83s very soon. And they will soon become an all Airbus fleet. So, um... It's sad to see them go because I always I always enjoyed seeing the Allegiant MD-83. I, I always loved seeing that airline in that I mean that plane in that livery, 
and I will surely miss seeing it when I go on vacation. But um, but yeah, um, it'll always be in my heart, and I will never forget about it. But on the bright side, it's better for the airline, and they will become an all Airbus fleet very soon. But um, and also speaking of Allegiant. They will be flying to Albany soon in December. I'm pretty sure that it comes at a time when I do not have school. The inaugural flight is indeed on a school day, but it comes in on a time when I do not have school. So I will probably be able to catch the inaugural flight like I did for the Frontier. So expect footage. Well, not, well don't expect it, but I will try my best to get footage of the inaugural flight but anyways um as usual thanks for watching and uh make sure to like and subscribe and any other announcements i have to make and oh and a couple things i have an instagram account set up so uh it's under the same name albany aviation so make sure that you follow that it's already at about 130 subscriber. I mean, 130 followers. Sorry about that. Um, I figured I'd see how far it would go without me shouting it out, and um, it's it's doing pretty well. So and I'm actively posting on there as I am doing for YouTube. So make sure to follow that if you have an Instagram account. And also, you're probably wondering where my um, where my trip reports. Are I uploaded the first two trip reports from Albany to Las Vegas, and um, you probably haven't seen them coming back yet because I haven't uploaded them yet, which is true. I've been very busy on other projects. This is a very busy point on my channel, and um, I still don't even have the 737 subscribers special up yet. I'm still reconsidering if I'm even going to upload it because I'm just so far away. I'm almost a full 100 subscribers away, but I did start it way too late. I started it about at about 727 subscribers, and my subscriber count is gaining faster and faster, so I'm sorry that it isn't out yet. It'll probably be out soon, and so will the trip reports. But, um, then I have a, a couple music videos, and I figured I'll skip 900 subscribers, mus the 900 subscribers music video, um, just because I'd have to start, just because I would have had to start it, like, 20 subscribers ago, so, I'm just gonna start the 1k subscriber special, so, another thing, let's start the road to 1k, so, yeah, let's start it. Road to 1K. And, um... There will be a channel update provided for you to update myself on this. But I update myself on some of it for you guys. But, um... And there is some good news on my channel as well. And, uh... Yeah, I've been blabbing for quite a bit right now after the airport update. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the, the long, long wait for this airport. Um... But yeah, because I've gotten so many new models for this, and rare ones too, such as the WestJet 737, the Air Canada Rouge 767, etc., etc. But, um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe to the people that I, uh, that I featured earlier. So, thanks for watching.